Hi everyone, I'm Swati from India Hikes and you're watching Trek with Swati. Today we're discussing a very important topic to do with high altitude trekking and health. We're talking about trekking with asthma. Lots of trekkers have been writing to me asking about whether they can trek with asthma. They're all worried about going to the Himalayas and what precautionary measures they should take. So I thought why not bring an expert on the show and have them answer this question for us. So today I have Dr. Sri Lakshmi Tirumurthy with us. She has been a practicing doctor for many years in Bangalore and she's also a high altitude trekker herself. So she's done lots of treks in the Himalayas, the Kashmir Great Lakes trek, uh, trek the Chadar Trek, Kedar Kantha, the Annapurna Circuit. So she's done lots of treks so she knows what she's talking about. Thank you Dr. Lakshmi for joining us. Thank you Swati. Well, let's dive right into the topic. Uh, lots of trekkers have been writing to us off late saying they have very mild asthma. In fact, several of them have had asthmatic attacks in the past and they don't really have it anymore. But what about these mild cases of asthma? Do you think they can trek in the Himalayas? Yes, definitely Swati. I think those with mild asthma can definitely take up an, a Himalayan trek. Mm -hmm. A mild asthma would be either occasional symptoms or less than two attacks a week. So with the right precautions, I would definitely say that they can go for an easy to moderate Himalayan trek. Dayara Bugyal would be a great first choice. It's a five day trek so they can see how they fare on an easy to moderate trek and then look at attempting some of the higher altitude ones. Okay, that's actually very encouraging to hear. Uh, tell me during your years at India Hikes and even on your treks, have you seen anybody trekking with asthma? Have you trekked with them? Yes. Uh, one of my friends who joined us for the Annapurna circuit trek, he is an asthmatic and uh, he uh, didn't have any attacks on the trek. With the right precautions, he prepared also really well and with the right precautions, he was able to complete the trek successfully with us. So here I must ask you Dr. Sri, uh, lots of trekkers do work on their fitness. Almost all India Hikes trekkers have this very active fitness routine before they go on a Himalayan trek. We advise them to go running and cover around 5 kilometers in 40 minutes and most of them do this for around 45 days before their trek. So in addition to this kind of fitness prepping, would you recommend any uh, other kind of prepping up if people have asthma? For those with asthma, running is a really good form of exercise. But apart from running, what you can also do is pranayama and other breathing exercises. These breathing exercises really help in improving your lung capacity. So practicing that will not only aid you in your running, but it will also aid you on the trek. Also when you sync your breathing along with your running, it will really help you in, in building your lung capacity. That will help a lot on the trek. What about after reaching the campsite, is there something that you would recommend that they do? Uh, I would say reaching the base camp a day earlier will help them in acclimatizing both to the cold as well as to the high altitude. It will give their lungs a chance to get used to the atmosphere in, on a high altitude trek. Uh, on the trek, I would say they have to keep their medications, all their medications, their inhaler, their nebulizer, their tablets, everything within easy reach of their backpack. And also, if you're carrying an inhaler, you need to make sure that the inhaler is packed a little warm because it's, it's an aerosol and it can freeze out if the temperatures are really cold. Um, so, one last thing I want to ask you is when you're on a trek, if you start feeling any symptoms uh, of asthma, whether it's a wheeze or uh, whatever it is, what, do you, what would you advise trekkers to do? First thing, I tell the trekkers to stop where they're trekking, take a little bit of rest. They shouldn't push themselves too much if they're feeling asthmatic on the trek, they need to stop there, pause and first thing, go and speak to their trek leader. They need to inform the trek leader that they are having symptoms and they are finding it difficult to breathe. They can start using their inhaler or whatever medicine their doctor has prescribed for them to take on the trek and make sure that they are rested well before they continue on the trek. So that was Dr. Sri Lakshmi Tirumurthy from uh, Bangalore. She is a high altitude trekker herself and today she gave us some very practical advice on what to do if you have asthma and whether you can trek in the Himalayas. So what she says is you can go ahead and trek but make sure you speak to your doctor and get a clearance from them before you go on a trek. At India Hikes we always ask you for a medical certificate where you fill it out with all your information. When you reach the base camp as well, we have a safety check-in where you talk to your trek leader about any symptoms you may have, no matter what kind of symptoms they are. So you better talk to your trek leader about it, keep them informed and even on the trek if you have any symptoms, you can talk to our trek leaders. They are all very well trained and they have, they have 
ability to manage any kind of medical situation in the mountains. So with that, I'm going to um, say goodbye here. If you have any doubts, please drop in a comment. This is an important topic and it's important that you're well informed. I'll have Dr. Sri Lakshmi help us with responding to the comments. Um, if you have any other doubts, you could even write to me on TWS at IndiaHikes.com and I'll get back to you. Make sure you hit subscribe and the uh, bell icon next to it because we have a lot more content about trekking and health um, on AMS, on HAPE, on HACE. So make sure you take a look at those and go to the mountains as a well-informed trekker. We'll be back again soon. Thank you for joining us.